Hey, this is Tom from Cavaliers Gaming, and in this video, we are going to show you how to farm the current bounty, Symphony Mortal, which is available during season two of Skull and Bones. The purpose of the contract is to go and sink the Soli Royale ship, and it's a companion ship which will take multiple of you to take down successfully, and you will need multiple people to go and farm it. And um, this ship and this bounty is great um, for collecting those um, specialised parts that you might need. So join this run and this farm run and manage to get over 100 torsion springs and over 300 cogwheels. So if they're the part you're missing to upgrade your ship, you should definitely be doing this. So yeah, let's show you how we can farm it. So you'll need at least two people to farm it, or more. And you can kind of see on this farming run, I'm sailing with the Death Squad. Uh, thank you to him for his YouTube videos and also for the great Death Squad community he's got going. So we all kind of sailed up to the ship. What happened is one person has the contract and that person hits the ship first and then it sails away. So it kind of leaves the circle of area. So they kind of tag that ship and kind of the bounty itself there is a circle and everyone in that circle participates so yeah the person hits that ship and then sails away out the circle once they're out of the way everyone else can hit them and kind of sink the ship what this means is the person who has the contract and activated it they because they abandon the contract they still have access to the contract to spawn it again so what they would do is they would come back into the center they would collect the chest because the chest will drop for them because they um, hit it and then they would respawn and reactivate the bounty and kind of rinse and repeat and that means that you can quite quickly every couple of minutes make sure you get a single kill on the bounty and yeah that's about it um, the only other thing to be aware of is the person with the bounty needs to not be in a group um, so they need to kind of leave be, be on their own and sail in and out so some other way of communicating makes it so much simpler um, everyone else who's kind of shooting the ship they can be in groups because that'll double your loot and make you even more money yeah so that's how the farm works um, what we're going to do now though is show you what you get from that farm so we're going to open up 25 treasure chests and kind of show you what we got from them. Okay, so you can see we've got 25 chests in our inventory and we're gonna open them one by one and kind of see what pops out of them. Let's get going. So our first one, we got ourselves five Orcus Mechanisms, 900 pieces of eight, a Bombard Works one, and a thousand silver. Our second one, we have got an, another three Mechanisms, another 800 pieces of eight, a Torpedo Grinder and some more silver. Our next one gives us a torpedo furnace, um, some salt pepper, pieces of eight and silver. So it looks like we're gonna get pieces of eight and silver in every one of these chests. Uh, we got some worm's breath and a, another bombard works. In our fifth chest, we got ourselves a torpedo grinder and five more mechanisms with the pieces of eight and the silver. We've got ourselves another four Worms Breath and a, a Torpedo Grinder. So that takes us to, in six chests, three Torpedo Grinders, two Bombard Works, and a Torpedo Furnace. Let's keep going. We've got ourselves five Eels Twine, some more pieces of A, and another Bombard Works. Uh, we've got another Torpedo Furnace, some more Twine. Uh, we've got our Worm's Breath, our Piece of A, and our Torpedo Works. And again, we've got our Furnace, our Salt Pepper, and Piece of A. So if you're looking for these rare materials um, to upgrade your ships, doing this bounty contract seems to be paying off. Uh, let's keep going. We've got ourselves a little Torpedo Grinder. More Piece of A and a Torpedo Furnace. Some more twine, another torpedo grinder. Uh, more twine and a bombard powder house. I think that's the first one of those we've seen. 
and mechanism and a bombard grinder so we've got just 10 more chests left to open we've got the worm's breath pieces of eight and the grinder you can kind of see us leveling up the rankings on the pieces of eight in the background we've got a worm's breath five worms breath torpedo grinder and nearly a thousand pieces of eight this time um, we've got another four mechanisms and another bombard works and we're getting towards the end of the opening we've got another bombard grinder another mecha five mechanisms a, a furnace more mechanisms um, more eels twine more bombard another more another bombard grinder um, some more breath a bombard works and pieces of eight um, another mechanism, another powder house, and we're going down to our last two chests where we've got another mechanism and another bombard powerhouse. And our last chest contains a furnace, some mechanisms, some pieces of eight. So let's just quickly look through what we've gotten out of all of those 25 chests. So we've got um, a torpedoes work, which kind of increases the damage multiplier of torpedoes. We've got six furnaces, which increases the range of the torpedoes. One torpedo grinder, sorry, six torpedo grinders, which increases the speed of torpedoes. A bombard powder house, which increases the area effect of bombards. We've got three of those. We've got four bombard grinders, and that increases your projectile speed of a bombard by 15%. We have a bombard work, so we've got five of those which increases the damage multiplier for the elemental side of the bombard by 19%. And then we also got ourselves 20 eels twine, 25 worms breath, and 13 gannets of salt pepper with 44 orcas mechanism so that seems to be kind of the primary thing but i'm sure if some of these are the things that you can buy in the piece of eight store for 1500 pieces of eight each so if that's the case which i think eels twine is that is 30,000 pieces of eight saved or costing just for those twine because i think they're 1500 each on top of that, um, we got, so we've now got 30,000 pieces of eight, or just under 30,000 pieces of eight. I think we started with about 3,000, so we got 27,000 pieces of eight as well. So that's not too bad for 25 chests. That's all we have for this video, and I hope it helped you and you got to see A, how to farm this contract, and also kind of what rewards and stuff you can get from it. So yeah, thank you for watching. And if this video helped you, please give us a like. If you have any other tips or things, please post in the comments below. And if you want more Skull and Bones content, please give us a subscribe. Thank you for watching and have a great day.